Since the pandemic began last March, Bertram Burzens has been hard at work building a custom pontoon boat. Burzum says the white Freightliner manufactured in Kelowna was calling his name. Originally uh, started as, as giving back and honoring the truck drivers uh, from COVID and whatnot, uh, the unsung heroes that are driving throughout the night and hung up in the borders and, and, and delivering the loads and the needs that we need. A mechanic and fabricator, Burzum says his family calls him the industrial artist. He's used his latest project as a canvas. Just expressing myself with, uh, with metal. So, I mean, right from the front, when you look at it, this is the bumper, but it's actually a storage container. I love things with multiple purposes. Look at the fish or dive through there. Burzum says the center cab will be turned into a sauna with cedar cabin finishings. The Kelowna resident says designing and building his dream boat has helped him stay focused and positive through the unknowns of the pandemic. The only thing that got me up and working 10 to 17 hours on it every day when I could was the end game, just seeing you know, a parents and a child show up, maybe go for a ride and, and just be enlightened and not stop talking about it. You know, it'll have the authentic air horn, the flamethrowers from the stacks, like all sorts of little stuff on there that'll just blow your mind. Burzum says he's thankful for the community's support, including from Lazy Boy in Kelowna, who's let him use their garage as he builds. People just message me like, don't give up and, and just keep going and that's amazing and, and uh, so, I'm looking forward to see what we can create with this. Uh, to me, it was a missing the, the fun and the connection with COVID. We got shut down. We couldn't socialize and connect with each other or ourselves even. Uh, for me, this has been a big time connecting with myself, working on it by myself. Burzin says he plans on having this done in just a couple of months. For Castanet News, I'm Madison Earhart in Kelowna.